talk about radio. In 1893, Tesla, he demonstrated the first radio uh, communication. Chandra Bose was the one who set off the, uh, uh, the what, dynamite about a mile away using microwaves. Radio is the transmission of signals by modulation of electromagnetic waves with frequencies below those of visible light. Electromagnetic radiation travels by means of an oscillating electromagnetic field. It passes through the air or a complete vacuum. You don't have to have atoms for an electromagnetic field to travel. And radio waves have things such as amplitude, frequency, phase. Now, let's talk about amplitude modulation versus frequency modulation. That can be a complex topic. We were talking about Major Armstrong inventing FM because Sarnoff from RCA wanted a radio that didn't have as much noise and sounded better. So what had been before was basic AM radio, which is radio that is of one frequency that's changing in level. Armstrong invented radio that was varying frequencies of the same level. The way you can imagine that is if you were able to see a radio transmitter tower and look at the antenna and you could see it. If you could see it, if I were looking at an AM radio signal, it would be like a one light of one color. Let's say it's red and it's just blinking. It's the same red, same color all the time, but it's blinking. It's getting brighter and darker, brighter and darker. That's AM. FM would be the same brightness all the time, but it'd be going blue, red, green, violet. It'd be shifting in color. That's the difference between AM, amplitude modulation, and frequency modulation, as simply as I can put it. Um, any questions on that? Okay. Um, this is the basic early crystal set. You know, in um, the 1920s, you could buy uh, oatmeal, and it would be in this tube. And they had something called radio oats. And radio oats, in your oatmeal, you would, you would buy this tube of oatmeal, and you'd dump all the oatmeal out, and you'd find all this electronic circuitry that you could assemble using your oatmeal tube to make a radio receiver. It had a little headset, one ear, you had some wire, you had a little crystal, and they had some very simple cat's whisker style crystal. And so you'd dump out your oatmeal, and you'd, uh, you'd wrap the wire around the tube, and then you'd put the little diode in, and you could adjust the frequency by tapping in at different points on the inductor. And so early days of radio, had to have a great big antenna stretched stretch across the top of the house out in the field, maybe two, three hundred feet. You go through a coil. You'd have the earth terminal right here. You could move that up and down. You'd have the antenna terminal. Move that up and down. Now what happens when I move the positions on this? I'm adjusting the resonant frequency of that coil. Means I can tune a frequency. <clears throat> and so I'm, I'm tapping here to adjust my tuning. It goes through a diode, converts AC into DC. Now it's filtered by a capacitor. Now it's just an audio waveform. Drives a high impedance headphone, converting a signal into sound. And notice no batteries here. This is completely driven by the signal from the air. Any questions? Okay, I'm in.